Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's been a while since I made a last since I made the last video, and we've been really busy. We've been making huge plans for the property, talking to a lot of people, talking to the city, talking to structural engineers, talking to uh, talking to planners, uh, people doing up our plans. And there's been a lot of back and forth about what we're actually going to do at the property. Now in this video, I am going to reveal what we're going to be doing with the property. Um, what we wanted for the property uh, was not necessarily to live there full time. Uh, we do have other plans to, to live in Winnipeg. Uh, and that's going to be coming up in about a year and a half or so. In the meantime, we are making a lot of progress at the property, and I'll get to that in some further videos. But I just kind of want to lay out where we're at and where and how we've gotten to this point. I'm going to start off with the the fact that we definitely wanted to build something that was sustainable, and. We looked at all sorts of different options from rammed earth to uh, to regular construction to um, earth bags and uh, straw bale and cob and and we talked to a lot of people and the biggest thing that we discovered uh, at least from what was presented to us right off the top was that uh, anything that we do in Ontario, because that's where the property is, would have to be done through companies. We won't be allowed to do it all on our own. Uh, everything has to be signed off on. And I later came to learn that that was not necessarily the truth. Uh, and again, I'll get, I'll, I'll get to that. So, Initially, we were looking at at straw bale, and um, if you don't know what that is, please look it up. It's um, it's definitely worth worth looking at if you're looking for sustainability. So the first thing that I did was I decided that I was going to download a uh, uh, something like SketchUp. Actually, I, I downloaded SketchUp and what I had discovered was that doing SketchUp on a laptop is very, very difficult. Um, so I downloaded another program called SmartDraw and what I discovered with SmartDraw is that it was extremely easy to use. And my first thought was, well, that's great. I can come up with my own plans and from what I understood, I have to submit them to the city and the city will approve the plans and, uh, and we can get started. And that was, that couldn't have been further from the truth. So at the time, I just started making the plans. I started building essentially our, our dream home. And I, and I got it complete and it was then that I discovered that my plans would only be accepted by a uh, by a company in Ontario that could certify the plans. So I went on this journey to find a company that would take it on and I explained to them what I wanted to do and and I said, I want to work with natural building materials. Ideally, I'd like to work with, with straw bale, uh, simply because it was, it was the easiest and cheapest option for us. And they turned us down one by one as, as we went along. We eventually found a company that would be willing to take on the project, uh, at least as far as drawing the plans. And what they had told us was, if you can find somebody to authorize the plans, then we will make those adjustments and, and you just let us know. 
And so, so that's what we did. We, we signed a contract, we hired them and they gave us a quote and we said, yeah, we have this money available to us and, sh and we can do it. And that's what we did. And while that was happening, I was still trying to get in contact with a structural engineering firm that could, con that could, um, sign off on the plans. So I contacted a company, I'm not going to mention which, which company it was, but I contacted this company and I had said, listen, this is what I want to do. Um, and they said, yeah, that's great. We can do it. And I said, that's fantastic. And I, and I had a, I had a 30 minute, um, talk with them and, and whatnot. And I'm not sure whether there was misunderstand a misunderstanding or not or what or whatever, but they had essentially come back to me and said, "Hey, listen, I, I, we're willing to take on the project. Uh, we want to do it for thirty thousand dollars over the entire project, and uh, but the deal is is that we don't want their plans. The people that you have, we don't want them." We want to write up our own plans. And I had already committed to to giving these other people the plans, that letting them do the plans. And they and I and I basically turned them down. I said, listen, I'm sorry, I can't go with you. I've already committed to the to these other people. And the long and short of it is that I'm really glad I did. And and again, I'll get to that a little bit later down the road. So th that's the point that I got to, um, and, and I started going back and forth with the, uh, with the person doing, doing the plans. I said, Hey, listen, I'm still trying to find a, a structural engineer that can sign off on these plans. Uh, do you have any advice? Do you have any, anybody that could, that could help you, that could help us out? And she basically went, I, I don't really, it's something that you're going to have to, uh, that you're going to have to, to really research and, and look into. And so that's what happened is I basically went on a, on a long hunt for a structural engineer and it was very difficult. And a lot of people said, Hey, this isn't what we do. We're not comfortable doing this. Uh, this is going to cost you a lot of money to get this done. And I kind of gave up. And so I had to go back to the, to the person doing the, to the, um, wonderful lady doing the plans and said, Hey, listen, we're just going to have to go with regular plans at this point. And she said, okay, that's, that sounds good. And that's where we got to. And it, 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 it wasn't debilitating, but it was like, it, it was really, um, it was really unfortunate for me because it's something that I, that I really wanted to do. And I, and I, and I, and I didn't want to give up. So I kind of, I kind of let the plan sit for a bit. I let them work on things on their side and they sent plans back and we made adjustments and whatnot and uh and and i can't remember what it was but there was something that was said there were there was something that was said and she and she essentially sent me a nugget she she said hey listen i got this guy you need to contact him uh he i think he may be able to help and that sent me down this road of talking to this person and again it was it was really disappointing because every person that i talked to the person said no sorry you know we're busy that's not really what we do and one person gave me a list of five uh, uh, contacts and out of those five contacts, 
I sent, I mean, I sent emails to all of them, but out of those five contacts, one person came, came back to me and they said, Hey, listen, I, uh, unfortunately we're really busy. Um, uh, but this is the person that you'll, that, that you should, that you should contact. And, and that's what I did. And, and I contacted this one person that they had recommended and they got back to me and they said, yeah, absolutely. We'd be willing to take this project on. And so I was able to go back to the, uh, the person doing the plans. And I said, Hey, listen, this is great news. We've got, we've got our person. We've got the person to do, uh, to do this, uh, the straw bale. And that's the long and short of it is that that's where we are at right now. And I, I really want to share this journey with you. Uh, as we move into season two of this project, I think we're going to do a lot of indoor work um, in that uh, I really want to want to sit down with you guys and really walk through with you each step individually of where we're at and and what we're doing with with the project because a lot of the stuff that we're doing right now is all uh, it's all emails it's all back and forth it's all planning and um, uh, and and we are doing work on the site uh, even though even though I'm across the country right now uh so i'm not actually able to be there in person to uh to see the stuff but we did hire a contractor and the contractor has uh has done a lot of work and that's um that's by that was by, by the recommendation of my lovely wife um and honestly that was the that was the best call that was the best decision and we'd be so far behind on this project if uh, if we hadn't made that call so I'm hoping that you guys are willing to continue with us through season two. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, so, so I guess what I'm trying to say is that the big announcement that we're making is on the property, we are building a castle. And it is a huge, huge undertaking. And, and and I know a lot of people are thinking uh, Castle's a really big project and it'll take 30, 40 years. But I assure you, we have a plan where it's not going to take 40 years and, um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be uh, a lot of work, but it's going to be a lot of fun and I hope you guys can join us. And uh, I'm going to leave you with a few images of the of the project, uh, what we have so far. It is definitely in uh, in flux and definitely changing. And the the plans at this point are not finalized yet, uh, not officially finalized because our structural engineer is still working with our floor plan person. So. I hope you guys stick around and we'll see you on the next season. Thanks again.